Welcome to the video that's going to show you how to save um, your Photoshop project to your portfolio. So our first assignment we've created was creating flags. Use the marquee tool, lasso tool, and duplicate tool. Um, you can go to these individual pages and I'm going to open them up just to show you if you have not completed them on the page it gives you the instructions but it also gives you a video that walks you through how to do that so make sure if you haven't done those three um, make sure you complete it before you watching this video so now we want to turn it in so I'm going to go ahead to turning in work on our portfolio and again this is the video that you're currently watching right here um, but I'm going to follow along the steps down here to turn it in on our portfolio so let's first get our portfolio page set up and then I'll deal with how do we get all these files on our portfolio page or work on our portfolio page. So you can see here it says turning work into our portfolio, create the page, open up your portfolio and go to the current grading term underneath my work. So I'm going to go to portfolio. I'm going to go to, I have a bunch of portfolio pages, Digital Media 1 example. So this is my portfolio page. I'm going to go to my work for first grading term. And what I want to do is create a new post. So you can see right here, I'm going to click on new post. When I do that, if I come back and close this guy here, you can see open up your portfolio page, go to the current grade term underneath my work. So you can see I went there, I click create a new post. I did that and changed the name of the post from untitled to this. So I'm just gonna highlight this. I'm gonna copy it, come back over here, I'll paste it in. Now, create the following sections on your portfolio page. Below are the sections for your portfolio. Description. Create a section header claim to description. Below the section header, type a description of the assignment. Let's do that part first. So, let's type description and type your description. So this is a section header, so I'm going to make this bigger and bolder. And you can see you should actually type what this assignment is about in your own words. Uh, type, let's put that there. This is going to be in your uh, in your own words. A description. About this assignment. So that's done. It says use the snipping tool to get an image of the entire Photoshop workspace. So I'm going to come to Photoshop. I want to grab a snip of this. Remember on Windows you're going to use the snipping tool. Simply open up the Windows icon, search for snipping tool and then you can grab it on Mac. You're, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to do Command Shift 4. Then you can see this little crosshatch. I can grab this here and that saves to my desktop this entire image. So I'm going back over here. I need to put that underneath my description. So right here I'm going to go to Insert Image. I'm going to upload my image. It's on my desktop. It is this guy here. I'm going to insert this. I click OK. See it's really big. I can make it large or small or medium. I keep it large. And that's my first part of my portfolio page. You have the description, then you have the entire workspace. Part one. Tools. Create a section header called tools. Below the section header, create a list of tools and that you use in this assignment. Use the snipping tool to grab an image of those. So 
let's do my description my tool section header I made it 16 and bold and below here the tools we use in this assignment we use the rectangular marquee tool let's make this a list and we use the elliptical marquee tool we also use the polygon lasso tool we also used foreground color and background color and we also use the paint bucket tool so for each assignment whenever you're tr creating something you're going to list the tools that you actually used and then next to them in your own words how did you use this tool to create the assignment so you use the polygon the rectangular tool but you're going to tell me how for each of these tools you used it to create this assignment that's the text part of it but it says use the snipping tool again to grab images of those so I need to come back into Photoshop here's my marquee my rectangular marquee tool right I want a snip of that so I can do my command shift F4 I'm going to grab that I'm going to go back I need my elliptical one I sell a change to it I'm going to grab a snip of this my polygon lasso tool we used in this lesson I'm going to grab a snip of this my foreground and my background color down here I'm going to grab a snip of this and then my paint bucket tool I'm going to grab a snip of this Oops. it's a bad snip let's grab the better snip so we have our snips for part two you can see I'm going to put these and I want to go rename these guys because I might need these in the future so I'm going to go to desktop you can see this is my Photoshop marquee tool this is rectangular marquee tool marquee tool let's say rectangular Angular. This is that is my Photoshop workspace. If you're using the snipping tool on Windows, it allows you to to name it as you want. Using Command Shift 4 on Mac, it automatically just saves as a screenshot, which is not really a a user-friendly name. So I'm renaming them. If you're on Mac, you're gonna have to do this tool. This is my circular. This is my polygon lasso tool. Photoshop lasso tool. Polygon. This is my Photoshop for Photoshop color foreground background. And lastly, this is my Photoshop paint bucket tool. So now I want to insert these guys here. So image, this is my marquee tool. Click OK. My elliptical one, I want to insert that as well.
at polygon one. foreground and background color. And actually I say, say foreground slash background because they're both together. Which means I can get rid of this one. And then lastly, my paint bucket tool. So I have that part. So you see I have my description, I have the tools and what I did. Now reflection questions. Create a section call or reflection questions, copy the questions below and answer them. So I'm gonna copy the questions here. Let's go ahead and put in my header, reflection questions. Paste this in. And then type. here. Same thing here. And I could change these so I can see the, the color of it. Say if I wanted to make it red, right? Let me do that here too. Red. And I'll do that throughout just for consistency so I can see where you typed your stuff in. Red. Oh. So these are the parts that you have to answer on your own. And this needs to be a section header, so it's 16 and it's bold. So, so far we have pretty simple page. My work. Create a section came my work. Below, insert the image files, JPEG, PNG, for this file. So here, I'm going to put my section header, my work. Let's make it 16. Bold. But now I need every single one of my files that I created in this document. Normally, it will be one or two files, but in our first project, we created a bunch of different images. So we have about 20 files that we need to create, but they're all in one document. So how do we save them? We can save each one individually using the visibility of the layer. So I want to save the United States. I'm going to go to File, not Save, not Save As. I want to go to Save for Web. I'm going to change this to JPEG Medium. I'm going to click save. When I do, it'll pop open. I'm going to go to my desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder. Call it Digital Media One. Or I can save all my stuff in. And this is my USA flag. So let's go to my desktop. I put all these guys in my desktop in my Digital Media One folder as well. So this is my folder. You can see now that's the USA image that I saved. If I wanted to save Puerto Rico, I'm going to turn USA off. I'm going to go back to File, Save for Web. It's already set to JPEG Media. I'm going to click Save and I'm going to type Puerto Rico. Do the same thing. Turn off my visibility. File, Save for Web. I'm going to click on Save. Honduras. Come on down, file save for web. Click save, Cuba. You get the point. For every Photoshop file you create throughout this course, when you have a bunch of different images, 
that are in the same file. I'll tell you what I want you to save. For this instance, I want you to save all your individual flags from this. And then you're going to upload them underneath the tool section. So let's do that. Let's do a couple of them. Obviously, you need to complete finishing the rest of your flags, saving them individually. So I'm going to insert image, come back here. Let's go check out my Digital Media One folder. As you can see, I have USA. I can click on that. Click OK. I'm going to make it small. And then I'm going to click right next to it. Do insert image. I'm going to upload. I'm going to put Puerto Rico. Open that. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make it small. Then I can delete and I can see I can put it next to each other. Right, insert. Click OK. Make it small again. Come here. I push delete. Come here. I push delete. And it's just basically putting it next to each other. Let's put a space and let's add one more. Last one, just to show you, upload Honduras. Click OK. Honduras is really big. I'm going to make it small. If I go in front of it, push delete, you can see I get it there. So you can see underneath my work, it's always going to be the work, um, all of the different images that you created for the file. If you have multiple images in one Photoshop file, you need to save all of them. And remember to save all of them, simply turn that off. You go to File, Save for Web. You make sure it's JPEG Medium and then you save it as the correct file format. So your portfolio page is almost done. We have our description, we have our tools, we have our reflection questions, we have our work. One last part, my Photoshop file. You can see it says create a section category of my Photoshop file, upload your finished project to your Google Drive, get the shareable link, and link that. So let's do that. So let's come here. Let's create my Photoshop file. Make it 16, make it bold. And I want to link this. So, to link it, we have to upload our finished file to our Google Drive. Well, this is our file. I'm going to save it back into, we'll do save as, and save it into that digital media folder that I just made on my desktop. So, digital media one and flags. All right, so I just saved it into that new folder I just created. Now I want to upload it to my Google Drive. So you're going to come back up here on Gantech, open up your Google Drive. You're going to go to our folder for our class, Digital Media 1 Photoshop. First grading term. There's a current flags there, but I'm going to delete that. I want to upload the new one because I completed it. New file upload. I'm in my digital media one folder. Here's my finished file. I click on OK. And it's uploading to my Google Drive. That way I have that no matter what. If the computers in the classroom go down, if they get wiped, um, if I lose my flash drive, I still have access to this file. So I want to get a shareable link. I click on it. You can see right here, I'm going to click on that. Here's a link. I'm going to copy it. You can right click copy on it or control C. I want to highlight and link this file. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go insert. You can see right here underneath image is link. And I'm going to paste. Click on web address. I'm going to paste the link here and click OK. And this is your completed portfolio page. It takes a little bit of work, 
but in the end remember we're making these portfolio pages so you can display your work to potential employers um, even as a high school student you can get employed as long as you have the skills you can uh, work for a company creating Photoshop documents for them or even for college when they come through and look at this we want to make it professional enough where they can look through your portfolio and be like wow the student really knows a lot so every portfolio page you create throughout the year I'll give you an example of it of what it should finally look like but this should always have a description and your entire Photoshop workspace it should have tools it should have a description of the tool and how you used it also an image of the tool and then it should have reflection questions where I'll have some questions for you to answer then it should have my work with all of your work and then at the very bottom I want you to link to your portfolio to your Photoshop file and that Photoshop file will be uploaded on your Google Drive once you're done with that you can click on save and you can see it's publishing my page And when it's done publishing, you'll see the link there, and you have to turn that in on our class website. So my page is published. This is the assignment. Back on this page, you could see I've done everything here. Turn in the assignment. Copy the website address into a text document, Notepad, on on Word, we would use a text edit document like this. So I copied it, I pasted my link in. You can see here it says save the file as period name assignment. So I'm going to go to save. I'm going to save this inside of that digital media one folder. This is period two. Jamie Gantz, and this is flags. So now that I've saved the file, I want to upload the file below. So I'm going to click on choose file. This is just the link to the portfolio page. It's not actually the file. I click on that and I upload my file. So this has been the video on how to turn in your Photoshop assignments. This is for the first assignment, but you're going to repeat this process for every Photoshop um, assignment that you do throughout this course.